subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you'll be one of the first persons to know whenever we drop a new video now let's take you straight up to the main news obaseki says only article can save nigeria plus we must put together new leadership structure to secure the north says atiku as your unfriendly policy shall be rejected in 2022 says nlc hi guys it is still dj mtv daily news updates godwin obaseki the governor of edo state has said that only the people's democratic party can rescue nigeria and place it on the path of economic prosperity and sustainable development mr obaseki made this clear when he received members of the Atiku support group led by Chief Raymond Dupesi on a courtesy visit to the government house in Benin City. Governor who bought into the River State counterpart Nesongwike's idea in Port Harcourt accused the federal government led by President Mamadou Bari of taking the country 20 years backward. Obaseki said, if Nigeria is going to be saved, then PDP has to step into the throne to save this country politically. The stakes are too high. We cannot allow Nigeria to continue the way it is going. I don't just see how we continue to be deceiving ourselves. We try to prevent the country from growing by limiting and restricting imports, coming with all forms of phantom excuses to limit people from buying and importing what they cannot produce for themselves and need it to survive. On the other hand, they are restricting foreign exchange availability, they are just throwing millions of Nigerians into abject poverty. Obaseki described Atiku as a Nigerian committed to the country, saying his achievements are visible. He is eminently qualified to contest the position of President of Nigeria and as you know, at the end of the year, power ultimately comes from God, he said. While responding to the Edo State Governor, the person commended the Governor for his giant stride and transformational project since he assumed office. He also noted that the country has never been so divided as a nation. Everybody now sees Nigeria as a poverty capital of the world. All the indices clearly shows that we are a failed state, he added. This is the DJMT Daily News update. In case you're a new subscriber or you're a returning subscriber, please do not forget to like, share and comment on all our videos. Also subscribe on all our platforms. Let's take you back into the news. Former Vice President and the People's Democratic Party PDP presidential candidate in the general election of 2019, Alaji Atiku Abubakar has said that the northern part of the country was bleeding with insecurity that is caused by bad governance, but that a new direction of leadership was required to safeguard the lives and properties in that part of the country. Alaji Atiku Abubakar compared the insecurity in the country to what he described as the bad attitude of the leaders in the north and therefore challenged them to tackle the endless bloodshed in the region. The former vice president of Nigeria lamented that the insecurity in the country, especially in the northern part of Nigeria, is too much. The north is bleeding this much because we have been sleeping for a very long time. We need to wake up from our slumber and collectively acknowledge that we are faced with threats. We must never be shy of speaking about our challenges and then engaging to solve the problem. He said, adding that to secure the North, we need a new leadership structure that we mobilize all ends on deck. He spoke against the bloodshedding and killing going on in the Abuja Kaduna Road, where a staff of the Federal Inland Revenue Service FIRS was killed after the kidnappers had collected the ransom money of 7 million naira. 
Atiku, who also spoke on the recent killing in Sokoto State, said, I weep with the affected families and the people and government of Sokoto State over the senseless and needless handsome attack on unsuspecting victims traveling along the Gijambawa Sokoto houses of the state. We cannot as a people continue to live our lives in the pressure of fears of losing our loved ones whenever they embark on a trip. It shouldn't be so. May God forgive the diseased shortcoming and grant their soul internal rest, Atiku stated. This is still the JMP Daily News update. Meanwhile, on other news, the Nigerian Labour Congress NLC on Wednesday said that the importation of premium motor spirit PMS, popularly called petrol, by the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation NNPC was imposed on the federal government. The Nigerian Labour Congress has said that it will meet to review many pronouncements made by the International Monetary Fund IMF, the World Bank and the federal government through the Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning Zenab Ahmed on fuel subsidy removal. They also called on Nigerians to be ready to fully mobilize and vehemently reject federal government's unfriendly policy by all means if they are implemented in 2022 as proposed. Ayuba Waba, the president of the Nigerian Labour Congress, who spoke during an interview with journalists on the sideline of the 48th National Executive Council meetings of Medical and Health Workers Union of Nigeria, Ayuba Waba urged the Federal Ministry of Health to ensure that the amount agreed on the consolidated health salary structure is captured in the 2022 budget to avoid another round of industrial action in the health sector next year. On the issue of subsidy, the position of the NLC is that Nigeria has no reason to continue to import refined products for domestic use, particularly PMS, because we have also found out that we are the only member country of OPEC that is doing that. That means that it is an imposed policy on Nigeria and our leaders must find a way and means to actually get us out of that imposition. We have made this point very clear that because of the devalued value of our currency, it then means that the policy of importation will continue to have a negative impact on consumers. And so the position of the NLC remains very consistent that we will be against any policy of removing subsidy in the name of deregularization. We have said that we export our job and yet our refinery remains under lock and key. It is a patriotic position that many Nigerians have supported. He also warned the government not to transfer its inefficiency to the Nigerian people by inflicting more pains on the masses in 2022, saying 5,000 naira palliative policy is not sustainable and we shall continue to go against it. So guys, this is still the GMTV Daily News update. Here we have it, we have seen the Nigerian Labour Congress coming out to say that they are going to fight against any policy that is political in nature in 2022. As they have found out that Nigeria is the only member of OPEC who still import fuel into the country. And the NSC has said that removal of fuel subsidy in 2022 is not a welcome idea and they shall go against it. The proposed 5,000 naira to the poorest masses of Nigeria would not be a better option as it is not a sustainable one. So guys, what do you think? Again, we saw um, the governor of Edo State, or Baseki Godwin, saying that Atiku is the only person who can salvage Nigeria from the aspect of the PDP. And also we saw Atiku coming out to say that they not need a new leadership structure in order to save the North from bloodshed. So guys, what do you think about what Atiku has just said concerning the new leadership structure of the North and also um, Godwin Obasek is saying that Atiku is the best person for the job come 2023. Drop your comments and talk with us in the comment section below. Welcome back. Thank you so much for staying with us till the end of this video. But before we go, we just want to let you know that we're also on Facebook and on Instagram at DJMCV. Also, check out our website at www.tgmtv.news. There we drop news 247 non stop. Do not forget that you could also place your advert with us here on DJMTV News and be rest assured that your business will get to the desired market. 
Well, so we'll come your way again with another edition of DJN TV Daily News Update. I remain your host, Laura Fayo. Yeah! Thank you. 